Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh release from Modo Collect. As you can see this is a 170 second scale tank of course and as usual you can find detailed photos and text here in the video description below so just click it and read review in English and Russian. So this is a German E100 but this time it copies tank with Krupp turret as you can see it's quite noticeable by its angular design and of course it is molded in 172nd scale and based on the previous E100 uh, plastic. Uh, box design is also typical for model collect here you can see comparison with my hand. On the side we have some information about manufacturer and safety devices and that's pretty much all. Now it's a top opening box and straight away we can see vinyl tracks which is not that nice and note that they are now molded out of black plastic which is quite surprising because usually they were molded out of brown plastic now I'm trying to open them in order to show you both parts so here they are I'm quite surprised why manufacturer decided to use vinyl parts in this kit as you can see they're okay but they can't be compared with plastic analog so if you have a chance to order plastic parts together with this kit, better do it in order to get a better detail on your model. Next we have plastic frames which are packed into the same plastic bag. I will zoom out so that you can see them. Here they are. Just give me a second to open them. <coughs> and we can start from this frame which carries engine bay cover, also rear armor wall, some hatches and belly plate for the hull lower segment. Here we also have one piece machine gun. Inside as you can see there are special placement points for the torsion bars and there should be also interior version of this tank as far as I know which will feature special position points inside as well. Here we have second plastic sprue, this one carries more of the hull parts, we have top segment, we have side panels and we have side skirts which are molded as one piece parts and that's quite nice because you won't have to waste your time with separate segments of this element on the tank and also it should be easier to assemble. Inside again there are almost no features at all because this kit does not feature any interior detailing except of the engine which is visible here and of course you can open the engine bay cover and expose this engine on your model and it should look quite impressive in 70 second scale so I would recommend to do so. Next we have two absolutely identical plastic sprues so I will show you only one. Those are dedicated to suspension parts, we have road wheels here, we have torsion bars here, some suspension elements here and separate drive sprocket which should be assembled out of two parts Alders are here and they look quite nice but of course assembly might be tedious because of the amount of the parts included then we have new parts this is a top hull part uh, those parts should go inside as far as I know and this is a let's say strengthened um, suspension which should be applicable for the heavy version of this tank and last but not the least is this sprue which carries new type of the turret as you can see the main segment is molded as one piece part but you will have to add the rear and front walls that's the lower segment of the turret note that main gun should be assembled out of two halves actually even four halves so we assemble first one part and then the second and then connect them together so it's quite tricky to avoid seams on such assembly so be careful and then we have small plastic bag with tiny add-ons which are typical for German tank kits from Model Collect. Let me remove them and I'll show it. So first we have this typical decal sheet and also we have unpainted PE thread. Both should come handy for external detailing and of course nobody stops you from using those decals for some different marking option. And note that this part will have to be bent on the main gun in order to achieve a more or less realistic finish. On the bottom of the box we have this brochure, that's a typical 
model collect brochure and on the front page we have a um, short history note, some specifications table, then we have a parts map, assembly process starts from the turret and note that actually you should assemble the main gun out of two parts and you have an option to choose this version or this one. Then you continue to the main hull and its suspension parts then you assemble tracks and engine and in total you will have to perform 15 steps. Here you can see one of the marking options included into this kit and those are two and other options which are featured in this kit. All the three were developed in cooperation with Amomic so all paint numbers are given in Amomic designations. But as I said before nobody stops you from choosing something different on your small E100. So that's all for this video review. Don't forget to write your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video and you would like to see more video reviews like this, press the like button. And if you want to help us even more, just press the uh, contribute button on the website. You will find it there, it's easy to find. And I will be grateful to see some contributions from you. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!